Hi. <laughs> so, good to see you. I just want to give you sort of a, a lens through which to take in tonight's service. I want to give you some hints uh, for things to look for. So tonight's service is brought to you by, has anyone heard of Douglas John Hall? He talks about the Christian faith in a way that is pretty easy to understand for dopes like me. If you want to thumb through this, it will be on the piano. Uh, tonight's service is also brought to you by this hat. <laughs> is it that loud? <laughs> um, brought to you by this video clip. I got this. 
this, right? Look at me, Mr. Christian Fitt. <laughs> right here. Uh, let me tell you, I was a fool. I was an absolute fool. I was a dirtbag. For a couple of reasons. First of all, selling myself short on this thing called Christian faith. Settling for something synthetic, something shallow, something plastic. I didn't know it at the time, but I was a bit of a dirtbag. And selling these kids who were entrusted to me, selling them short on the Christian faith. Christian faith is not about what I can explain to you about God or church or Bible or Jesus. Christian faith isn't about what I can tell you about it. Christian faith isn't about me being able to explain theological statements. Christian faith isn't about giving assent to doctrinal statements. Christian faith is not about whatever I can conjure up in the words to say about the creed. Christian faith is about something different. All of these things are important. Reading, theology, organizing your thoughts, articulating them. They are not faith, but they might help feed your faith. Christian faith is about a relationship with other. It's not about my thoughts about other. It's about the relationship with other. So for example, if I were to say, I have faith in my wife, doesn't mean I have faith in my thoughts about my wife. It means I have faith in my wife as an other, totally separate from me. If I were to say, I have faith or trust in my daughter Anna, doesn't mean I have trust in my thoughts about her or how I can describe her. It means I have trust in her as a completely separate being that I don't own or control. I trust in her. So project that onto faith in God. It's not about whatever thoughts I can manufacture about this God. It's about a relationship with this other. So that's the lens I want. Those are the glasses I want you to put on. And look for that distinction throughout the service. Faith is not about what you can conjure up in terms of thoughts. It's about a relationship with this other whom you cannot control. Okay? That's what we're going